What's up guys, Jeremy with Everything iDevice and welcome to another episode of the best iPad applications. If you guys have missed any other episodes, be sure to check the link down in the description to check out my other videos. Uh, but in this video, we're going to be covering Procreate. Now this is probably hands down the best Photoshop or photo editing um, application I've ever used. It, it's very, very in-depth and there's a lot to it. Uh, so let's just go ahead and launch Procreate. Um, first off here, once it loads up, it does give you three um, uh, images here that somebody else created, so I did not create those. Uh, this one here is just a, a photo of my dog Nitro, which I took the other day. For those of you that follow me on Instagram would recognize this, but uh, since then I've actually edited it within Procreate here, and I'm working on, it's still a work in progress, guys, uh, working on making it look like a painting, which is pretty intensive, um, as you can see here. You can zoom out of the image, so if you want an overall good look at it, you can zoom way in, and I mean all the way down into the pixels. So let's just keep zooming, and so there you go. That's how far you can go, and there's the pixels, guys. Uh, this is a retina image. I believe it's like 2,000 something by 2,000, so it's a it's a very, very um, big picture once it's done. As you can see, I screwed up there. So two fingers to zoom in, zoom out, move around on the image, rotate it, whatever you'd like. As you can see... Uh, my dog's fur here has all that kind of brushed fur look, which I've spent a lot of time on this image. Uh, not quite done yet, but getting there. Um, so it, it's pretty awesome here. So I guess I'm going to go zoom in a little more to show you guys that this has all been smoothed and rebrushed. Totally different than the actual uh, original image. So first off, you're going to have your brushes at the top here. Here's all the brushes you can get. And these are all completely customizable to... Uh, almost anything so we can go ahead and let's do a water brush let's do wet smudge and then you can go ahead and you can actually uh, edit this by clicking on the little gear there so you can see you can change the spacing of it you can change the scatter you can change the start where it starts you can change the ending of that brush you can change the opacity right here you can change the size smaller or bigger um, you can save that you can actually make up your own brushes uh, by editing the brushes which is pretty awesome so let's just go ahead and reset it back to normal go ahead and click done um, as you can see here you have a little plus symbol in the upper right hand corner this is where you can actually make your own textures uh, like I said uh, procreate is a very in-depth photo editing uh, application uh, and in my opinion it's better than Photoshop uh, it's just much easier to use so you have your different brushes there's a lot of different brushes here as you can see you have uh, industrial you do have your uh, charcoals, your elements, your spray paints. Now some of these here towards the end are all in-app purchases. So you have touch-ups here, you have uh, retro, which are pretty awesome. You have your luminance, and then new set where you can actually create and add your own brushes and fully customize all your brush sets. So let's just uh, pick a brush here. Uh, let's go with a... Um, so there's the uh, actual in-app purchases for the different brushes. Um, let's do painting. That's actually what I was using to do um, nitrous fur. I was using this one right here, oriental brush. So I'll go ahead and select that. And then your image select or uh, color selection is the upper right-hand corner. As you can see, you can basically get any color you want out of the, all these different uh, you know arrays here. Just select whatever color you'd like. Um, so we can go ahead and switch that up to green. You also have your different palettes here where you can add all the colors you like or whatever colors you want to use. Um, like I said, this is a pretty in-depth um, application. So as you can see, there's the green. And if you screw up, you always have your back button right there. You do have the smudge option right here. And you can also choose a brush for smudging as well. I used smudging quite a bit in this image. Uh, same thing as the brushes, basically. Also, you do have your erase tool there. Same with that, you can choose a brush for erasing, whatever you'd like to use. You have your different layers here, so you can add a new layer if you want to go on top of this, so you kind of keep a nice layer system for whatever image you're working on. Also here you have the brush size, as you can see it's 100%, all the way down to 1% itty bitty. Um, you can change the opacity right there, your back button, your forward button, and then also here you have a little gear where you can actually import photos. You can take a picture directly from your camera to use. You can use Dropbox. Uh, you have your canvas orientation um, normal, flip horizontally, flip vertically. 
you have your share option there you have more info you have devices and then you have your general settings right there also you have the uh, little transform button right there which is layer only transforming so if we go back to gallery here I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start a new project I'm gonna do it retina which is uh, 2048 by 1536 so that's a retina sized image so here is my starting image and I'm just gonna kind of go through and just mess around here and hopefully create something kind of cool for you guys So there you go guys, there's just a real quick kind of photo that I just kind of thought up. Uh, looks pretty similar to like a galaxy style kind of photo. I'm sure there's much much more editing I could use but I just wanted to do a quick something on the video to show you guys uh, kind of how this works and you know it's, it's pretty much unlimited on what you guys can come up with in your imagination. Uh, you know when it comes to an artistic side to things it's all up to your imagination and what you guys can think up. Um, now, like I said, this is probably one of the best Photoshop or photo editing uh, applications I have found in the entire App Store, and I definitely would recommend it to you guys. Again, it's called Procreate. I'll leave the iTunes link down in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely throw me a thumbs up, or even if you like this picture that I kind of came up with off the top of my head, definitely throw a thumbs up for that. Uh, otherwise, if you guys want to see more iPad app reviews, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.